to the All Things Good channel and to another week and another vlog. Hope you are all doing really, really well. I have had another lovely week, another very busy week, of course, but the sun is shining. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's still a bit bitterly cold, but it's been dry for over a week now, which meant I have managed to finally get into the garden to do the first mow of the lawn for 2023. Done a bit of tidying up, sorted out the flower beds and all the rest of it. There's no colour going on yet, but I had a good sort out and a good tidy up, so I shall show you that. Had a lovely weekend. My friend Paul, I'm sure he won't mind me mentioning his name now, came on Friday and we had a lovely couple of days. We had a lovely walk around Fradley Junction that you saw at the start of this video, which I've shown before. It's the village where I live, just outside of Litchfield in Staffordshire. And it's very, very pretty. It's a lovely walk. You can do a whole canal walk for miles and miles, which we didn't do. We just went to actually the Fradley Junction itself and had a little walk around the lake, which was looking still a bit wintry and a bit unkempt, but I'm sure as the weather improves and everything improves, that'll all get lovely around there as well. But it was still a lovely walk. We had a great time. I've done lots of shopping, of course, of course, of course. Had some deliveries and it's Valentine's Day this week, isn't it? So I might do a bit of baking as well. So let's just get into this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. It's Sunday and there's Lenny. And here's my winter garden. <laughs> the garden that hasn't been touched over winter. But it is a really nice day, it's a bit cold, but it's been dry now for over a week. So I am going to make a start on tidying this up today, getting rid of all the dead stuff. And I'm gonna do the first mow of the lawn for 2023. Let's get cracking. Fortunately, it seemed that I didn't need to do much weeding, but there was certainly a lot of dead leaves and twigs and bits and pieces that needed sorting out. But underneath it all, there's already some little green growth. Brilliant. until there's some colour and some summer growth going on but that is so much better and so much neater a good start to the gardening for 2023 well we are having the most beautiful weather today it is Tuesday happy Tuesday everybody there isn't a cloud in the sky, it's just blue. It's all blue, it's beautiful. I've just taken Mom um, to do our usual Morrison's supermarket shop this morning. And I didn't film her in the car today because she wanted to listen to music. Uh, she wanted Elvis Presley on. So we had Elvis Presley on, very loud. <laughs> so we couldn't do any talking really. She loves Elvis. And uh, halfway through playing one of the tracks, she went, can we have a party? <laughs> Love it. And I said, yeah, let's, let's think of a reason why we need to have a party. She said, oh, we don't need a reason. Let's just have a party. So love it i absolutely love it she still has so much enthusiasm for life that it's it's like a superpower i absolutely love it and why not why why don't we have a party we could um well we've got grace's birthday in april mom's in june adam's in august i mean there are birthday reasons we could have a party but we could just have a party to celebrate life couldn't we look at this gorgeous sunshine it's beautiful so anyway she's in very good form fortunately haven't yet taken her to the doctors as I said I would she doesn't really want to go to the doctors she is definitely brighter this week so I think she was just a bit 
tired last week. Her knee is still hurting her a little bit. I think it's just a bit of arthritis and I think it's probably flared up a bit because of the very cold weather. I know I, in my back I've got arthritis in my lower back um, that I've had for years following a, a dancing accident I had many, many years ago that you all will, if you've followed me for a long time, will know about. Um, and my back's not been great the last couple of weeks. So it, it's probably just the cold weather. So she wants to hold fire on going to the doctors. Um, and that's fine. And it's probably not a bad thing because the COVID cases have risen again here, unfortunately. I know quite a few people now that have got it. Um, and a lady at work has had it. It's gone through all her family in this last week or so. So probably keeping mum out of the doctor's surgery is not a bad thing at the moment. But I'm now heading back into Litchfield. I'm gonna go and have my nails done and my little monthly vice. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go and have my nails done. And then I will show you some bits and pieces that I did buy in Morrison's this morning, only a few bits and pieces. It was my, my top-up shop and mum's big shop today. Not that she has a very big shop shopping for herself, but she did need um, some meals for this week. So all is well and it's just lovely to be on my day off with the sun like this. It, it just makes me feel great seeing the sunshine. I think perhaps in a previous life I lived in a very hot country or the desert <laughs> maybe. Um, I just love the sun. I don't even care that it's not that warm. In fact it's not warm at all. It's quite cold today but I just love the sun, the brightness and there's definitely a feel of spring in the air. There are some little snowdrops coming up out and about as well and, and some little little growth in my garden like I said there's some little green little shrubs coming up so yeah loving loving the sunny weather well I did treat myself today I had my nails done and my toenails done went all out Right, so my bits and pieces from Morrison's. I'll show you what my top-up shop is. Nothing too exciting, but I got some Comfort Blue fabric conditioner this week. This is an old favourite of mine. It's not really one of my current favourites, but it's an old favourite, good old classic scent. They now call it Blue Skies, but it just used to be called Comfort Blue. And it's very, very fresh. Hmm. What I love about this one, oh, it's gorgeous. I've forgotten how nice that was. What I like about this one, it's really long lasting scent. But years ago, I don't have a problem with this now, but years ago, Comfort used to clog up my washing machine dispenser drawer. And it is still quite thick. It is thicker than other fabric conditioners I've noticed, but I don't seem to have that problem with it anymore. Whether it's because I've got a newer machine, I don't know. But I don't need as much of it either. So I am quite cautious with it but it's a lovely, lovely scent. I picked up some Johnson's Baby Cotton Buds. I don't have a baby, I am a Johnson. <laughs> and actually, I am related to Johnson's, as in Johnson & Johnson, the company, but from many generations ago, that's another story. But um, picked up some Baby Cotton Buds. I actually use these for cleaning. I will show you one day where. Uh, lots of little nooks and crannies and around the edges of your oven hob and things like that. There's lots of uses for a cotton bud, I assure you. So that's that. Picked up my usual bathroom air fresheners. This week I got Cotton Fresh, one of my favourites. Do like Spring Awakening, as you know, but Cotton Fresh is lovely in the bathrooms. So I'm just about to change those i've told you this before they advertise that they last between 45 and 60 days i find they last about 30 days you can still smell them after 30 days so they probably do last as long as it says on here but the scent does go um, and i tend to change mine once a month every four to five weeks really so about about 30 35 days i do on those um i got some lenore 
tumble drying sheets. I've run out of these. Sometimes I buy Morrison's own. They're called Pure. Very nice, but very thin and flimsy in the tumble dryer. And I find that although you get the scent, they do get entwined in all the clothes. Whereas these sort of a bit more anti-static, I think, and these don't get entwined in the clothes. They stay at the bottom of the tumble dryer. So I'm not sort of ripping them out of sheets as I'm getting them back out to make the bed and finding bits of tumble dryer sheets in shirts and things a week or so later when I come to wear them. So I do actually think Lenore are the better ones. I got two in Spring Awakening and two in Summer Breeze. So that's those stocked up. I also got, ah, yes, got these. First of all, I've got some Sanex roll-on de roll deodorant, which I've just thrown on the floor. Oh, and it's not broken, so that's good. And I haven't had these before, but these are by Pantene, and they are called Hair Biology. You get these in different things for different hair, i.e. if your hair's greasy or dry or coloured, etc, etc, like all the shampoos and conditioners. This one is the Defrizz and Illuminate, and it is for frizzy, dry or coloured hair. Now, normally these are eight pound each, and they're not very big. They are only 160 mil in the conditioner, 250 mil in the shampoo, not big normally eight pounds each. Morrison's this week, buy one, get one free. Still expensive, makes them four pound each. I still think that's expensive, but I'm really interested in trying these because I do have dry and sometimes frizzy hair and it is coloured. So hopefully they will be nice. I haven't even smelt them, you know, I didn't even smell them in the shop, but Pantene normally smells really nice, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's not, ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm liking that. Oh. I will smell lovely, hopefully. So looking forward to using those. The crisps were on offer, Walker's baked crisps were on offer in Morrison's. Two bags for three pounds, so one pound 50 each, which is still expensive, isn't it? But that's probably about the best price you can get at the moment um, for Walker's baked crisps. So I got two bags for three pound, but mom has stolen one of the bags. How rude. It's fine, we do that sometimes. When we get the offers, we buy two, we have one each. And these are cute, but we've already started eating them. Morrison's are doing Love Heart Crumpets. Very nice, Valentine's Day. I do like a bit of crumpet every now and then. And uh, we had some for our lunch today. So mum's had some, Grace has had some, and I've had one. So there is just one left. So that could be my breakfast before work tomorrow. Um, I've got some rather naughty Kellogg's Cocoa Pops, but they're not for me, they're for Grace. They seem to be her favourite at the moment. She suddenly had a craving the other day for Cocoa Pops. I was like, okay, I shall get you some. Don't always buy Kellogg's. I sometimes buy a supermarket-owned brand. And in fact, the best supermarket-owned brand I have found for Cocoa Pops, where Grace doesn't notice the difference, is a Cardo. Um... But if I buy them from anywhere else, she, she'll know. She'll say, these aren't Cocoa Pops. These aren't real Cocoa Pops. I don't know how she can tell, but she can. Got my usual Weetabix. You know, I like a bit of Weetabix in the morning as well. My usual cherries and berries squash. Now I can only ever find cherries and berries in Morrison's and Asda, but I don't go to Asda very often. So I tend to get this every two weeks in Morrison's. So one of these lasts me two weeks. I take a big lot of this to work in my big bottle um, three times a week. And I try to drink, um, I try to drink a good couple of pints of this every day along with water and my teas and coffees and stuff. Um, and it has no added sugar. So sugar free um, and fat free and all the rest of it. So there's, there's nothing much in there. It tastes really nice. I got a Rouse Runny Honey, which goes on my Weetabix with my banana and my granola in the morning. So there's a good one. Get through a lot of honey. Picked up a little bit of extra cat food. Again, we've already broken into this. Selective Palette by Purina. Um, fussy little things this week, including Myla. 
So just thought we'd go for something slightly different, but within the same range, just to give their taste buds a bit of a change. I sometimes find that they get bored, put them onto something new, they love it for a couple of days, and then we can go back to the original stuff. Still using catkin, loving it. Definitely is their favorite, but they gobble it up for sort of five, six, seven days, and then they ignore it. So, and that seems to be the way with my cats, with any food I give them. So we do have to chop and change a little bit. And then, as I'm going to do some baking later in the week, I'm going to do some proper, proper baking. But I also picked up this, which is a red velvet cake mix. How Valentine's-y does that look? Doesn't that look nice? So I'm going to make that. And I also picked up some Love Heart confetti to sprinkle on the top. So that's getting all Valentine's-ish. So that was just my little top-up shop for Morrison's today. Not much, but a few of my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day, Mum. Oh, it's beautiful. We're going to Mere Green. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I'm so pleased. No, I'm so well, pleased. Well, the thing is, we're we, 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 travelling. <laughs> where are you going? Aren't you Got a thing about travelling you have yeah. at the minute. So have I a bit, to be honest. Where, well, where are we going? Then? Where are we going? Yeah. I'll pay. <laughs> Wherever we go, I'll pay. Sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, we're gonna go and do a bit of thrifting. I'm as well use my money up, so we're gonna have a nice holiday somewhere with all the trimmings. <laughs> oh, all the trimmings. Yeah, sounds well, good to me. Well, if you can't do it now, I might not be here forever. <laughs> I think you might be actually. I think you're superhuman. Um. So how's your week going so far, Mum? All good? Yes. You're a bit brighter this week, aren't you? Not yeah. so tired and... No, I'm good this week. Good this week. So everybody watch out. <laughs> <laughs> when That's I'm good, it. I'm up to everything. <laughs> I know, I have to control her. When, she, when she's bad, she's... Very bad. bad. And when she's good, she's Very even good. worse. <laughs> oh, we're going to do a bit of thrifting. And we love the sun this morning. It is. It's a beauty, isn't it? And it's warmer today, which is good. No frost, no ice on the cars this morning. We and will. We're doing a Saturday shop today. Yeah, we're a bit back to front this week. It's Thursday today. Um, so we're doing Saturday on Thursday. And on Saturday we'll do something else Saturday-ish. So I was uh, telling everybody here on YouTube you said the other day should we have a party <laughs> I said what reason can we have and you said well we don't need a reason <laughs> we just shall we have a party we could couldn't we yeah we do have a party and uh, I mentioned it to Paul he said my goodness I, if we have one of them he said Nancy will be having a happy 10 hours <laughs> <laughs>
absolutely delightful little thrifting shop that mum and I have just done in Sutton Colford. Absolutely gorgeous. At the St Giles Hospice shop, as you know, we love and support St Giles as much as we can. It's actually 10 years this week since my sister passed away at the St Giles Hospice, which is not too far here from, from where I live. 10 years, can't believe it. So we have Sarah's anniversary coming up this week. But we've supported St Giles as much as we can ever since. In fact, most of Sarah's house content went to St Giles. And we go there quite often, as you know, and buy what we can when we can. And there's often lots of things that we like, quite frankly. And I have picked up two lovely items today that you did see in that little clip. And the first one I thought was very apt for this week as well, because this week it's also going to be Valentine's Day. Now, I am going to do my tiered tray display, a bit like last year, I don't know if you remember it, but I'm gonna do that again this year with my love bits and pieces all over. But I'm not really a huge fan of the commercialism of Valentine's Day. I just think that for those that you love and care about, they should know it every day, not one day a year. So I don't sort of subscribe particularly to the commercialism of Valentine's Day. I think if you go out for something to eat, it's often overpriced. Sometimes you can't even get a booking and a reservation. And sometimes it's not that great. And I think it's much nicer just to be with the ones that you care about and love and do something lovely. And But we should be doing that every day, shouldn't we? Having said that, I am going to get in the mood. I'm not gonna be a Scrooge about it. And I picked up this which I thought was lovely for Valentine's Day. And I will be having a visitor here on Valentine's Day, which is great. And we're gonna have a nice meal and what have you. But look at this beautiful, it's glass actually. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Heart-shaped glass plate, platter. Um, I don't think it's, well, it's, it's not, I mean, I suppose you could hang it on the wall if you had the right um, adapters on it, but I, I wouldn't hang it on the wall. I'm going to have that somewhere in the kitchen, some nice bits and pieces on. In fact, when I make my red velvet cake, which is what I'm gonna make, have a Valentine's Day, I might even put the cake on there. Who knows? But I thought it was really nice, and I will display that somewhere. Let's just show you a bit closer. You can see how glitzy it is as well. Isn't it lovely? And it was only £6.50. And I thought, well, there we go. That's gonna be nice for Valentine's Day. I thought it was just really cute. And it's like this blow, I think it's called blown glass, is it? Um, but it's a, certainly a bit different. Anyway, I really like that. That was the first purchase. And the second one, I couldn't resist this because actually the design of this matches a vase that my sister left me. And the fact that it matches, I thought was, well, beautiful. But I actually got, let me unwrap it, this beautiful wine decanter. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how that's cut. Absolutely beautiful. And I just couldn't resist it. There's the top. Nice little stuff. But it's lovely and tall as well. Sometimes you see them and they're a bit shorter than this. But that's really cute. That was £9.50. And that rattling you can hear in the background is Albert trying to get into the cat flap. Bear with. Let me just go and open the cat flap for him. She's back. So I thought that was very, very elegant. I think that's the word I used when I saw it and I was with mum. I said, look how elegant that is. And it's not too delicate either. It's, um, it's pretty heavy, very nicely made. It doesn't have a marking on it, um, but I will wash that up really nice actually. I'm going to put some white vinegar inside, the tiniest drop of bleach and washing up liquid, warm water, let it soak for about an hour and then you can rinse it out and it'll be gleaming and shining and decant a nice bottle of something in that, maybe on Valentine's Day. Who knows? We shall see. But I just do, I did think it was just very, very, very elegant. And those are the only two purchases I've made today. But now I'm going to put my little tear tray together and then I think we should do some baking.
experimenting a little bit with this week's baking. I'm not making my own sponge. I'm actually using a Betty Crocker's red velvet cake mix, especially for Valentine's Day. And it says that you just need to add three eggs, some oil, some water, and some icing. However, I'm doing it slightly different. I'm actually going to use 200 ml of milk instead of water. And instead of the vegetable oil, I am melting 100 grams of butter. This should just make the cake a bit richer and a bit more decadent. So here we are having a moment on the bed and this really is an au naturel moment on the bed. It's really late and so I'm already ready for bed. I've taken all my makeup off. So this is it, the real thing as it were, and um, which has inspired me actually and following a couple of subscriber requests to next week I might actually show you my skincare routine, my morning routine and my evening routine. And as I was taking my makeup off this evening and put my moisturiser on and I've just put some lip balm on, I thought, mm, yes, we ought to do a skincare daytime and evening skincare regime routine for you. So I shall do that for you next week. But yeah, it's been a lovely week. It's been a very busy week. And I didn't go to the party that I was telling you about last week. I was meant to go to Alison Hammond's birthday party. You probably all guessed that anyway, because you know I went last February. But um, there was a very strict no plus one policy this year and um, it would have meant me going on my own and not knowing anybody there. It turns out I did know a couple of people that went um, that I've caught up with since. So it probably would have been absolutely fine. But actually they went and said it was um, a very different party to normal. Um, it wasn't so much family and friends. It was more of a like a bit of a works do. There was a lot of TV people there and they actually didn't get much time to spend with Alison. So I'm sure it would have been lovely. I've sent her her lovely birthday message and um, wishing her and her son Aidan a lovely, lovely birthday. And I'm hopefully going to catch up with her on a one to one soon instead. So that will be lovely. We can have some quality time together. So I didn't do that. Um, but I've also been thinking about Sarah a lot this week. Obviously, it will be 10 years this year since we lost lovely Sarah. And um, I think 10 years is a very 
significant marker. Um, it's a decade, it's, and yet it doesn't feel it in many ways. Um, and it's, yeah, it's quite an emotional week, but obviously I think about Sarah all the time. So it's, it's, it's sort of no different in a way, but um, it's, yeah, it just 10 years, is, it just feels, it feels a long time, but it doesn't feel a long time because I could almost hear her voice now. Do you know what I mean? I could imagine what we would talk about if she was sitting here on the bed now chatting with me, um, you know, and I often can hear her reaction to things. So if I'm sort of doing something or saying something or having a conversation with someone, I can almost hear her going, yeah, well, you know what, Paul, I think this and I think that, and, you know. So I've said it before, you know, the ones that are past stay living on the lips of the living. And I do think it's very important to keep talking about them and have our lovely memories and share them where we can. So I will catch up with Michael, her husband, my lovely brother-in-law at some point this week. We'll have a good chat on the phone. I'm seeing him next weekend anyway, because he's coming to the family christening we've got next weekend. So that'll be good. And of course, it's Valentine's Day this week, obviously, as we've mentioned in this video. And it's just a time to show everybody that means such a lot to us all on a, an individual basis, how much we care and how much we love them. I don't go in for, you know, the whole, like I've said, the commercialism of Valentine's Day. But it is sometimes nice to be slightly nudged and given a little trigger to remind ourselves to tell everybody that we love that we love them. I told Grace today, I love her. I told mum, I love her. And I know they love me and that's so important. And when you have people that have been in your life that haven't genuinely loved you or have used you or have had a detrimental effect on you, when you are truly surrounded by the people that really care and really love you, you know, and you know the difference and you know how important that is. And I wish all of you a very, very happy Valentine's Day and that your loved ones, whoever they may be, it might be your cat or your dog or your pet rabbit. It could be anything, but anybody that you love and loves you in return, I wish you the very, very best of St. Valentine's Days on Tuesday of this week. And I really do have to go to bed now because I'm very tired and I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. And if you have, do give it a thumbs up and a like and subscribe if you can and do share because what I'd really like to do as well this year is get to the 5,000 subscribers mark. And I'm already thinking what I could do as a giveaway for 5,000 subscribers. And trust me, it would be a good one. It'd be a good one if we get there. So do share it if you can with anybody you think might enjoy the channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this week's video as well. So until next week, stay safe, stay in the boat, keep doing all things good, have a lovely week, and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye. Bye.